awesome guys so let's have a quick look at my top 5 favorite android launches with the list being in no particular order by the way if i leave out on any of your favorite launches do leave them in the comments below let's get started the first launch on the list is Themo. so as the name suggests it's all about applying different themes from the inbuilt theme store to make your home screen look different or to look amazing so there are very many themes available in very many categories such as multi-screen, single screen, dark, minimal, nature and all those. Currently I've applied a minimal theme that displays the time and date and battery level in the center and if you swipe right you have the weather, calendar events and music. Swipe to the extreme right you have your commonly used apps such as internet and gallery. If you jump into the app drawer you have all your apps arranged in categories. Uh, such as communication, games, lifestyle and shopping and many more. If you don't like that, you can always just go to the usual app row with, which has all the apps in alphabetical order. By the way, you also can tweak a lot of stuff in this launcher. As you can see, there is advanced settings over here, whereby you can tweak or change the desktop, notification bar, icons and a lot more. So don't miss out on this awesome launcher as it is absolutely free from the Play Store. Next we have Z Launcher which is an amazing minimal launcher. So the time and date are displayed on the top left followed by your recently used apps. But the best part or the best feature in this launcher is that you can actually draw letters on the home screen to search for apps, contacts and even bookmarks. As you can see I'm drawing stuff over here. It's working perfectly, it'll filter out according to what you've drawn. So there's also an app drawer which also sticks to the minimal design with all your apps in alphabetical order. So it's a great lightweight launcher and with a fantastic design. Moving on is TSF Shell which is a launcher quite popular for its beautiful 3D effect. So it comes with its own widget such as this 3D clock over here which is amazing. Tap on the bell and you're able to set the alarm right from the home screen. Just turn the dials to set the alarm. So the memo widget down here can also be easily edited just by tapping on it and drawing stuff as you can see over here. There are also so many dope transitions with some really cool effects. As you can see this swing effect over here. The transi transition looks amazing. So there are many things in this you can do and the app row is quite simple but again with some really awesome transitions as you can see over here the 3d effect is really awesome there is also a sidebar whereby you have all your favorite apps on the side and you can quickly switch in between them there are many things you can edit such as gestures even the side menu scale advanced stuff even you can edit the de desktop and add so many things such as widgets and decorations and so much more. So overall it's an epic launcher that you can grab from the description below. Next we have Action Launcher 3 which is a close to stock Android launcher but with some cool extra features. One of them is shutters which allows you to swipe up from your app icons to have a quick glance at them from the home screen. So it's a very useful feature, you can do it with Gmail, Twitter and many other different apps. And this feature is not available on any other launcher. Another feature is swiping from the left and a menu will pop up which shows you all your apps in alphabetical order. The launcher also comes with so many different settings you can change such as display, desktop, even some shortcuts and much more. So do check it out from the description below. It's free. The final launcher on the list is Nova Launcher. A very popular launcher because it has a stock Android feel with lots of customization options. So the app drawer is very similar to Google Now Launcher with the recently used apps on the top row and the rest of them in alphabetical order. You can also swipe down to search for apps as you can see over here. The setting menu is where all the magic happens. Like it comes with a lot. In the desktop menu Go, you can change the desktop grid, you can change the icon layout, you can even change the search bar style, like the logo style and bar color. 
You can also tweak the app drawer, dock, look and feel, and even gestures. So it's an awesome launcher with lots of stuff. That was all for this video guys, thanks for watching, do hit the like button, do leave your suggestions in the comments below, and do subscribe to my channel if you want more Android related stuff. Thanks for watching and meet you guys in the next video.